Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Music at Midday concert from St. Paul's Cathedral, London, Ontario. Today's programme is coming from my home again here in Stratford on my digital organ because the cathedral down in London is actually closed at the moment. The programme begins with a very bright, uplifting piece called Trumpet Tune in D by an American composer, David Johnson, who lived from 1922 to 1987. He loved church music and wrote over 300 compositions for the instrument. He lectured at Syracuse University and Arizona State University, so very much a performer as well as an educator, as well as a composer. His trumpet tune in D uh, was actually asked for at the wedding of a former um, president's uh, daughter, Richard Nixon, in 1971, asked that the trumpet tune in D be performed as his daughter came down the aisle, as it were, on the White House lawn. So I begin today's program with that piece, the trumpet tune in D by American composer David Johnson. say that no organ recital is complete without a work by perhaps the most famous organist and composer J.S. Bach and I've elected today to play a large work by J.S. Bach perhaps the cornerstone of the organ repertoire the very famous Fantasia in G major it's in three sections and what made it become very famous was back in 1965 at the funeral of Sir Winston Churchill at St Paul's Cathedral, the centre movement was requested for that funeral as a recessional. It's certainly a very, very grand central section. It begins with a sparkling Fantasia-like introduction leading into the grave middle section. And then at the end, the pedal descends slowly, chromatically, right down a whole octave all the way to uh, bottom D. Over the top of that pedal movement is a flourishing manual work in uh, 16th notes in the hands. So the next work on the programme, the Fantasia in G by J.S. Bach. Thank you. 
short days ago, a very tragic event occurred here in Canada, in the province of Nova Scotia. 22 people senselessly lost their lives at the hands of a lone gunman. One of those, Constable Heidi Stevenson, a 23-year veteran of the RCMP, also lost her life in the line of duty. We can't begin to imagine the depth of anguish for the families and friends of those people who lost their lives, but certainly they are supported by Canadians across our country in prayer and in thought. And I would like to dedicate the next two pieces to the memory of those 22 people. And Catherine is going to sing a version of Psalm 23 by Antonin Dvorak, composer perhaps more known for his New World Symphony. And then an organ piece often used at memorial services, Nimrod by Sir Edward Elgar, one of the variations from the Enigma variations. So the next two pieces on the program, in memory of those 22 people who lost their lives in Nova Scotia 10 days ago, we begin with the Psalm 23, Dvorak, and then Nimrod of Elgar. Who is this in 
The English organist and composer George Thorburn Ball is next on the programme, a piece called Tune in E in the style of John Stanley. Thorburn Ball lived almost right across the last century. He was born in Australia, but moved with his parents back to the UK in 1900. He attended the Royal College of Music at the age of 14, and by the time he was 19, he was able to play the piano solo part in Rachmaninoff's third piano concerto. So his prowess was certainly not only as an organist, but also as a wonderful pianist as well. He spent almost his entire life in the city of London. He died in 1987. He was organist at the Temple Church in the city of London and a former organist there, John Stanley, was a wonderful composer as well as an organist. And so George Thorburn Ball decided to write a piece as a sort of homage to John Stanley in the style of his compositions. So you'll hear a solo stop all the way through in the right hand, a beautiful melody, and it uses the flute stops and then the clarinet stop of the organ. So the next piece on the programme, Tune in E by English composer George Thorburn Ball. Charles Hubert Hastings Parry, a name very familiar to those of us in church music. The final piece on the program today is an organ composition by Parry, but of course he's very famous for his hymn tune, Jerusalem, and also for his uh, ode, Blessed Pair of Sirens, and he wrote five symphonies as well. He was born in 1848, died in 1918, and some English historians rate that uh, Parry was perhaps the best English composer since Henry Purcell. He was a wonderful composer, an educator. He was head of the Royal College of Music for many years and a professor at Oxford University. And he taught Vaughan Williams, Holst, Bridge and Ireland. So his influence was certainly far reaching. 
but he loved the organ and the piece I'm going to play to finish today's program is very muscular and powerful. It's called Fantasia in G major. So that's our final piece on today's program. Thank you. 